Hey YouTube, so I am doing a bubble ponytail, genie ponytail on this wig that I have installed. I had this wig on from since October 2nd and today is October 8th and it's still secured. So I decided to do this bubble ponytail that I've been wanting to do for the longest. So I'm deciding to share it with you guys today. So as you can see, my wig is still laid and I am using Boho Active as well as I maintain my wig by using Liquid Gold. I use it like, uh, let me see, like every two days I would apply some on. But anyway, let's get into this hairstyle. I'm parting it down parting this wig down the middle because I'm creating two ponytails. As you can see, I'm not using a mirror, so this is all by touch and feel. I'm actually using a handheld mirror so I can just see the back. But besides all that, I'm using my phone and yeah, the handheld mirror. So let's begin. So I got it parted down the middle. I got my hot comb. And I'm using Caracare wax stick. Because you want to smooth that hair out. Okay. And then I'm going to use the hot comb and just mold that baby. Mold her down. And on this ponytail, I'm using synthetic hair. I'm actually using the pre-stretch hair. So, you know, three comes in a pack. So I'm using one and a half of the blonde bundles and just one bundle of the colored one. What is, what is that, like a rust brown or something like that? All right, so I'm ready to put her on a pony. Got her nice and smooth. And I'm going to actually use some got to be glue spray just to, just to mow her down a little bit more. And take away the flyaways. You want to do it tight, but not too tight, because if you do it too tight, you'll make wrinkles in the front, and you don't want to do that. So I got my two ponytails together. And I noticed the back was lifting up, so I got some bow hole jelly and put that on there, on the back, so it could stay down. Y'all see me looking for it, right? It was just a little piece lifting up. It wasn't nothing much. But I still wanted it secured. And I just actually bred it right on top of the lace. And then I'm going to use that good old um, flamboyant touches frontal wrap. Go on over to www.flamboyanttouches.com and get you one. I have 33 different colors and designs.
Well, yes, let's get into these ponytails. So this is the synthetic hair. I put them on a the rubber band. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your ponytail and wrap the rubber band around the ponytails that you just made. The rubber band that it's attached to your synthetic hair, you're going to wrap them around your ponytails that you just made on your wig or your natural hair. And you're going to stick the hair in between the synthetic hair. Just tuck it in there. Separate it and tuck the hair right in the middle. And just blend it in there. So what you're going to do next, you're going to separate a piece of hair because you want a piece of hair to wrap around your ponytail. So you're going to hold that piece of hair out the way with a clip. You could just clip it onto the other ponytail that's not done yet. And what you want to do next is create your first puff. Not completely, but you're going to start it. All right. So you're going to get your rubber band. I know I should have been prepared, right? <laughs> anyway, you're going to get your rubber band and you're going to make your first bubble. I doubled the rubber bands, but making my first bubble right here, I'm not going to double it as of yet. I just want to start it. All right, boom. Pull it through. Make sure you get some smooth synthetic hair. If not, blow dry it, but the hair that I got was smooth. It was the pre-stretched one. But anyway, you're gonna take that piece and you're gonna hold your ponytail at the same time when you're wrapping it. That ensures the ponytail will not like slouch or be loose. So you're going to hold a ponytail while wrapping. And then you're going to continue wrapping. And after it's sturdy, you can let go and continue wrapping. I don't use no hairpins. I just wrap it, wrap it, and wrap it. So then I'm going to double the rubber band and make my puff. And then you're going to continue to do the same thing. I made like about six puffs. Puffs, bubbles, whatever you want to call them. You know, you smooth the hair out as you go along. And then when I get to the bottom, I did a little one and then I like tuck the hair under. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but. Yeah. So again, you can make your puffs as big or as small as you want. And 
Yeah. She ready. Not completely, though. Completely. Yes, honey. She ready. So, I created these puffs that I always wanted to create. Yeah. I did it. Flamboyant touches. Then slate again. <laughs> so. Continue to check me out. Oh. And I did it with a bang. The bangs. The bang. I just realized that side was unraveling. But it's all good. Because this was just something quick. Something to do. So check me out. I'm going to continue to drop videos on YouTube. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Share. All that good stuff. Your girl flamboyant touches. <laughs>